Oh, 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 welcome to the Doug Show. Um, and I, you know, we're not organizing a boycott against Chick-fil-A, but just look, let's face it, the passion, now the fire, because they used to be, um, they used to have a backbone. They were a symbol of backbone in the world. Now they're a sellout. Look, guys, open up on Sunday. Start making your workers work on the Sabbath because you're a joke. You are, if you support uh, gay marriage, you are, by definition, anti-Christian. You are anti-Christian. You have stabbed the bride of Christ in the back. You. I'm talking to all you people out there who, if you if you are willing to use the word marriage, which is the, ma uh, the marriage between two sexes, and you say that the same sex can be married, and you give them that word, you've allowed someone else to come into your, a portal freak says, you don't like gay marriage? No, it's not that I don't like it. It's I don't care. I might, I might think it's wonderful. It is the idea that it is that you are forced, you are forced to say, you, they, the Borg pulls the string in the back of your head and says, I will approve of gay marriage so I can work and I can have the cool friends. That's what happens. It's the peer pressure that drives me crazy. There's an old a portal freak says, I don't care if you do either way, by the way. Yeah, it's largely I don't care. Other than what I care about is that they force you to say the words. It's you will approve. And if you say anything against it, you will be demonized as a homophobe. They will call you a homophobe. And that's what happens. They call you a homophobe. The indisputed leader, the president, the CEO of Comics Gay, Ethan Van Skyver, has called me a homophobe and a transphobe, that is a anti-Christian organization. He is anti-Christian for using those words. Someone pulled the string in the back of his head and he aped the words. And, uh, and this is a anti-Christian organization. They largely target Christians who are making comics. That's what gets them off. And, they, and then, like true SJWs, they point all of their dumb, dumb followers to brigade and fire hose on Mike Miller, Edwin Boyette, myself, Tim Lim, Bean from Pa, you name it. If they're a Christian, they're going to get whacked by Comics Gay. That is Chick-fil-A. That's what Chick-fil-A did. They're sellouts. They have no backbone. That is not what America is about. Classic liberalism in America used to be, you know, I disagree with you, but I'll defend to the death your right to say it. You don't get any of that today. That's not what Chick-fil-A did. That's not what our culture does. Our culture says, I will not defend your right to say it. I will destroy your business. I will weaken your comic. I will make you terrified. And I'll make all of the weak men and women standing on our right and left feel the terror if they step out of line. You will feel terror. You'll see it on YouTube. Everyone's running around terrified. Everyone's running around going, I can't say this. I can't be seen with this guy on this channel. I can't have this guy uh, on my show. There's no room for that. That is the definition of SJW. Ethan Van Skyver called me a homophobe and a transphobe. Ethan Van Skyver, you are an SJW. Your organization, Comicsgate, is an SJW movement. And by the way, what gets rewarded gets repeated. So as long as War Campaign makes $50,000 on Vestige, they're getting paid to put penis dildos and rainbows on their opposition. You're paying them. You're rewarding them. I hope they make millions of dollars to prove how stupid all of you are. That's what I hope. Because I want to, I'm, I'm exposing all of you as the Borg ship, bunch of followers. You don't think for yourself. You're not liberal in mind. You're not tolerant. You are an SJW. Back vestige cover by Ethan Van Skyver the president of Comics Gay. Hashtag Comics Gay. That's my rant. And now I'll have a sip of coffee from my yellow submarine mug. Ah, oh, yes. Forrest Ghost Burt Reynolds gives me a standing ovation. 
uh, you will be brigaded on on Twitter. You will be destroyed. I will have unleashed a giant. Uh, uh, I hope Ethan Van Skyver and Cecil and uh, John Malin, who can't seem to uh, get off the couch and go and make a book. They will restream this and just mock the whole thing, and they'll get a bunch of uh, watch who comes on the show bloated, fat, estrogen laden, man boob, balding men who do not make comics, but they sit on a couch and they will rerun this show and do their snarky commentary. Malin can't even bother showing up on video, he just does text, he can only type. He's like, uh, he can't get out of bed. Like they wheel in a keyboard in front of him and he can just type text. Copy, it's not comics gate, it's copy and paste gate. All they can do is copy and paste. Guys, where are the comics? Let's make some books, write, draw, create, and leave your fellow small creators alone, man. Let them grow, let them flourish. Um, that's my rant. That is my rant. My internet show, I'm so happy it has so few viewers because it means, first of all, you guys all have a pulse. You guys are actually uh, decent folk in my audience, only decent folk who want to watch some drawing right now. Tesseract, I like the way Doug generally handles comics gate, comics hate, ignore them. Whether you talk positive or negative about them, that's free press benefit for them. Yeah, I don't want to legitimize them by making you think they're anything that anyone outside of comics get even knows. No one knows. I think the I think in a way what I I feel bad for the people uh the comics creators who do think it's real. Like they're under a spell. And if you just point if you just have all of your internet feed, because we all get to choose what internet we look at. Remember that if you don't like the internet, it's your fault. It's all the people that we, uh, that we choose to follow and you, and you gaslight yourself with saying this stuff is real. 